Hey everybody, welcome back to another Permislog episode. My name is Jonathan, and today what I'm gonna do is walk you through how to migrate any WordPress website using all-in-one WP migration, which is a free plugin. There are some paid extensions, but for the most part, as long as you can control the upload file size on your server, then you don't have to worry about buying the paid extensions. The free version will work just fine. So what you're looking at on your screen is an Oxygen Builder website that I'm going to be migrating from a development server to my Cloudways hosting. And I just wanted to show you what it looks like right now so you can kind of see how it will look when we're done at the end. So we're going to go ahead and just close out of this front end view and go to our WordPress plugins on this development server. And we need to just go ahead and add that all in one WP migration plugin. So you can just type all in and then it should search and it will find it for you. All in one WP migration. There's kind of a Christmassy theme for their logo right now, but just look for all in one WP migration and go ahead and install that activate this, and then it's really simple. There's not much to do from here. All you need to do is go to all-in-one WP migration and click on the export button here. There's no settings to change, but if you want, you can do some add and replace. There are other conditions and stuff and some advanced options as you can see, but I pretty much never touch any of that. I go straight to export to file is the option. It's gonna package everything up and then give you the option to download everything to your computer. Has this super annoying flashing function, but if you close that, and let's say you, for whatever reason, didn't actually download the file, you can just simply go to the backups tab right there. And what you just packaged up is ready for you to download. And then you can also delete it as well. Once it's done downloading, then you're ready to head over to your other WordPress install. So in my case, I've already bumped up the upload size limit on this particular server to 50 megabytes because I knew that would be sufficient. But if you, let's say, have a backup file that's 125 or 250 megabytes, you can always bump that up temporarily. Uh, and then there is a limitation to the free version, which I think is 512 megabytes. And after that, you have to buy the unlimited extension, which it can be a little bit annoying. The other thing is you can buy the unlimited extension for the plugin itself. And what that does is allow you to basically FTP into your server, put the backup file in your server, and then that way you can import it straight through uh, kind of the WordPress admin dashboard instead of uploading it manually. But that's just kind of situational, it depends on how big your site is. So now let's go ahead and get logged into our WordPress install. Okay, so now as you can see, we're in the WordPress install that is on Cloudways. We're no longer on that development server. So once again, we need to add the plugin to this side. So go plugins, add new, and we're gonna go all in one. Just install that and activate the plugin one more time. I personally am gonna go ahead and just delete these default plugins that are installed on this site. And then now what we can do is go to all-in-one WP migration and click on import. And what we're gonna do is go import from file and you're just gonna find the file on your computer in downloads or wherever you happen to have it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Here is the .wpress file that we just downloaded a little bit ago. So I'm going to open that and it will import. Typically it doesn't take very long, but of course just depends on how big that import file was. It's going to ask you, are you sure you want to overwrite your site with the file you just imported? And of course we do, so we're gonna click proceed. This part typically doesn't take very long. And then you're, you're presented with one more screen, which is gonna be kind of dependent on whatever theme or kind of page builder, like in this case, we're using Oxygen, is present on your site. So in, in the case of Oxygen Builder websites, it is super important that you follow this particular order right here. So you need to save the permalink structure, then resign short codes, and then regenerate your CSS cache. And if you don't do it in that order, the import fails and then you have to re-import it again. So just make sure to do that. So we're gonna get re-logged into the new uh, WordPress install with our data on it and just do that. So let's do it. Alrighty, so I had post name as my permalink structure from before. So all I need to do is just resave this. And then again, if you're using an Oxygen Builder website now, you go to settings, go to security, sign all short codes, and then we'll just do start short code signing goes super quick in this case. And then last but not least, we can go to CSS cache and regenerate the CSS cache for oxygen. So let's go ahead and take a look at the front end of our site now. And so we have the site fully migrated over to our Cloudways URL here, as you can see, which is super awesome and everything copied over just fine. There's basically nothing else that you have to do except just again, follow the correct order of resave permalinks and that sort of thing. 
Like I already mentioned, you do need to have the ability to increase the upload file size on your server to the appropriate amount. But if you start to get into a situation where your backup file size is monumental, you know, hundreds and hundreds of megabytes, you're probably gonna need one of their paid extensions, which I believe is like 69 bucks and it works on unlimited sites, which may or may not be applicable for you but that will give you the ability to upload the file to FTP instead of through your web browser. And if you're running into issues where uploads fail because they're just too big, that is gonna be what you have to do. So hopefully this video has been helpful for you. As you can see, it's extremely easy to migrate your sites using this plugin. Hope to see you guys in a future video. Thank you so much for watching.